Hey Lion community, um, I hope everyone's doing well. Today's my birthday, I turned 25, so I'm a quarter of a century old and I still have a lot more to do in my life. But uh, I feel like my birthday just wouldn't be the same without having a special post from my vinyl. So, um, I wanted to thank everyone. I've been having trouble with YouTube, it's been acting weird lately. I couldn't reply for some reason to the comments on my thread about, you know, cataloging. But I really appreciate everyone and have taken advice. Um, I made the whole Discogs catalog on the Discogs.com website. I have 194 records that I have completely in LPs, and it's exciting to have. And I've done that in, like since November 7th in two months' time, so it's fun. I'm really happy about that. As well, um, I took advice from you guys and then from someone in particular who left it for me about this book and what to do with it. And yesterday I made my first post, and my po I mean, sorry, my post, my first entry. And in there, it's sort of spent a page, just sort of giving myself a little intro, you know, about what I've done so far with my record player since I got it, what I was listening to at the moment, how I probably wouldn't be listening to it if it wasn't for having a vinyl record player in the first place, and what it's done for expanding my mind with music. And so now, well, I'm just going to throw down some notes and listen to new stuff and post my thoughts on here and just try to really build a nice, cool little piece to have down the road for my future family and future friends to see. Maybe we can show my kids one day and they'll be excited about it and test this stuff out say, oh, let me check this record out my father likes, something like that. So, let me show you guys the stuff I got recently. Really cool, eclectic stuff in here. I enjoy it. Let me show this one first because I'm not really the biggest fan of it. You guys let me know what you know about all these records. I love to hear comments and thoughts. Um, but their record's cool. Just on my style of stuff. A little bit fast on the jump track for me. Um, intensive Care. Assault down memory lane. I might give it another listen pretty soon though because I have the lyric sleeve in here. Maybe appreciate it more. And they're from Charlotte on um, Guilty Records. So I'm going to try checking it out more. So. Diana Ross. It's my first time having a Diana Ross record. This is her fourth LP, Touch Me in the Morning, which was the big hit on the record for her. Um, everyone's got to love that Motown record label. I love the Motown label. So, we go Diana Ross, Touch Me in the Morning. This one's cool. Um, this is Eric Gale, Gins Ginseng Woman. Never knew him before. He's been a cool dude from the backside, which he seemed to be. Like the first side to listen to. Um, opening track, the title track itself, Ginseng Woman, is actually something I've heard sent before in a hip hop song, but I can't figure out which one it is at the time right now, but it will come to me. Really, really great, like grungy rock sounding band from this record's from 1989 on Island Records. It's the, it's the first LP from this band, The Buck Pets. Might post a track soon from these guys too on a vinyl listen. Um, really, really awesome stuff. Really cool rockin' band. Really like this a lot. Good find. Fuzz, the, the buzz, the buck pets. Only three bucks. Love these guys. Really excited to look into these guys. New music. Um, they're from some other country. I'm not sure what it is again, though. Um, where is it? Well, their address was London, England on here for more information on them. Um, it's on Epic Records. And this is called Sanctuary, and this is a, basically a compilation of stuff from their first two albums, which are both highly acclaimed. Really great electronic stuff. I checked these guys out if you haven't yet. New Music Sanctuary. Please let me know if you guys can show anything more from this band. I really like it. It's down with this. Love the cover. This guy just goes by simply the name Kyle. And the record is called Times That Try a Man's Soul. Just a hard working man talking about that, you know, that middle class, lower class stuff. Um, cover the record's cool. It's got a nice, cool little Chevrolet type car in front of the state of California Department of Employment building. Really gives the picture, gives a good feel for what the whole record's like. Four tracks on each side. Everyone's always, everyone's really packed with good stuff. Alright. False Prophets. Implosion. I saw this a couple times at this one store I went to, and I didn't want to buy it basically because I thought it wasn't worth it. Because one side is completely scratched in a bad way, and the other side is completely perfect. But it's scratched, so I won't sell it ever or make anything for it, but it's still listenable for me. And the second side is smooth as hell, so it's great. And um, it's just a really cool thing. 
um, record label was Alternative Tentacles Records, and they're just a really cool band from 1987 that I wouldn't really know about otherwise, and I love the cover. I got it for basically nothing, I cut a, I cut a deal with some guy for like five or six records at an antique store. Most of you guys probably know this, I never listened to it before. Mike Bloomfield, Al Cooper, Steve Stills, Super Session. Get this for three bucks, three fifty. And um, what's also really cool about it is that it's funny, I bet you guys all knew Al Cooper from Blood, Sweat, and Tears, but I never did. The first way I heard about him a couple of years ago was that there's a song called Soon You'll Understand on Jay-Z Volume 3, um, his record, and it was actually the love theme from the song, from the love theme from the apartment in the movie, which Al Cooper did the soundtrack to. I love that song, Love Theme from the Apartment. So I would love to see anyone if they had that apartment soundtrack on vinyl. Never heard of her. It's nice, nice gatefold, heavy records, wanting really, you know, good quality stuff. Decided to get it really cheap. The best of Buffy St. Marie. You guys know I love my female singers, so I thought it'd be interesting. And the couple tracks I listened to sound pretty good. The gatefold has a cool picture of her. It's in the sleeve now. Of her opened up with uh, playing in front of a bunch of people in the 70s. And it just sounds, looks cool. Everyone's having a good time. This is basically almost like a straight up rock band, I don't really know how to describe them well right now. Um, the Young Caucasians, The Shroud of Elvis. And um, it's on a record label called Top Records from Washington DC. <coughs> Label's pretty cool, how it has Top on there. This is a great record. I'm really excited to listen to more of this. Lately, like the first time a lot. Um, Bill Wilson, Ever Changing Minstrel. Really cool sleeve. Sold on that. Um, so really good singer-songwriter stuff with a country twang sound to it a little bit. Sort of like listening to a Johnny Cash record, in my opinion, from what I've heard from Johnny Cash. So I highly recommend this record. Really good stuff. Catch it. Grab it. This is a hardcore band that's like. One side has like six or seven songs and it all adds up to like ten minutes, so it's a really quick like minute song. They're just like wah, 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 quick change ups in the music and I like that stuff sometimes. So Sold on the Sleeve. Find him and kill him is the name of the band. It's called Cut Them to Pieces. How awesome is that record sleeve? Dude's hanging a knife on his back in front of faceless people. Um and see so a little info on them. And it has, you know, thank yous and whatnot, and it says that they're around 1999 to 2003. So it's cool to have a piece of vinyl like that from a band that you've never heard of for only four years being around. New Wave band I got new to that I, kind of, I really enjoyed when I heard so far. The Church. This is a different cover than their normal cover because it's the U.S. label, U.S. release, as opposed to where else they were from. And this is the U.S. cover. The track listing is a little different from the original pressing too. The Church. You guys probably knew this. I don't know. I never knew this before. This guy sounds cool. Those are really cool, different jazz record for me. Bob Moses, Visit with the Great Spirit. Really enjoyed this. I listened to this both sides the other night, and I was just really impressed with it. It's really cool, cool rhythms. It's a good jazz record. I feel like I like a little tribal groove to it in a way. It's really interesting. It has the lyrics on the backside. Um, it's on a record label. Um, Grandma Vision from 1984. I don't know if you guys know about this guy much. Um, this is what you're listening to now. Probably my favorite out of all these records I've picked up. Only $3. I saw this. Someone had this going on eBay for $60 since it was rare, but other people don't have it for so expensive. So I don't really know what the monetary value is like, but I just sold in the record sleeve and I love it. This guy's really good if you like what you're hearing in the background. First record. Robert Wegman, Dangerous Curves. He um, was inspired and had a lot of inspiration from Bill Nelson, who I got into recently. This song's a good song. Um, the guy, Bill Nelson, who was in Deep Off Deluxe in the past, says here extra special thanks to Bill Nelson for your divine inspiration. It's on a record label called Fumiko Records with cool pressings of the labels, have like, you know, Japanese guys on them. And it's only number two that they placed out. Really thin. Paper like sleeve, you know, nothing too hard. Um, really cool stuff. Favorite one so far. 
And then I got this. You guys might think it's crazy, but I never got around to listening to Funkadelic. I just know who they are. So I spent a little bit more money, and I got the Four Men with Beards pressing <coughs> from 08, I think it was. Yeah, 08. Of the repressing of Maggot Brain. So I haven't listened to this at all yet. I haven't even opened it. I haven't even like played it on the record player. I'm planning on taking this and you know it. Using my book. I'm gonna take my first thoughts of listening to it for the first time. I know it's a very big record. I know the Red Man record, There's a Dark Side. I knew this record, this cover, because Red Man, which I was mentioning the Steffi Vaughn, Red Man actually um, takes this record cover and does a little twist on it on his second album. Cool Gatefold, if you really think about the band. So yeah, this is my first time listening to Funkadelic, listening to Maggot Brain ever. I saw my buddy, from, uh, I remember who he, I remember his name, but he's from a different country, and I was talking about he had the Tool Lateralis record, and he mentioned it's up there with records that are big for him, so I decided then the pet girl had purchased, so thank you for the recommendation. So yeah guys, those are my records. Picked up recently. Um, hope everyone enjoyed my birthday post. And um, I'm glad to be a part of this now at 25. So hope you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you guys soon. Until next time, take care of our community.